Due to popular demand, the flat cap is back. Um, let's talk Miguel Cotto versus Canelo Alvarez. First and foremost, before we get into it, I've done other videos in detail about how I see this fight going, so this is more going to be a final prediction. Before I get there, though, I want to talk about Miguel Cotto being stripped of the WBC belt. Now, a lot of people are saying this is the WBC taking the mick. Like, how can they charge so big a fees? You know, belts shouldn't rule boxers, etc. I get all of that. I get all of that. It seems a ludicrous amount to charge for a sanctioning fee, 300k. But to me, people are missing the point here. And I haven't actually heard anyone else, any of the other YouTube channels I watch mention this. But Miguel Cotto surely knew that this sanctioning fee was going to be in place. You know, surely he did. Um, this is why it seems strange to me. Miguel Cotto, very, very experienced operator. Seems like a fighter with a very, very strong commercial mind. All along, he knew that he was going to have to pay a sanctioning fee. I mean, that's the case for all World Championship fights. So, why is it that he's not paying the fee? You know, if he didn't want to keep hold of the belt, he could have left it a long time ago. Uh, you know, he paid $800,000, I believe, step-aside money to Triple G. I think that this is a duck from Miguel Croto. I really think it is. It's not just that he saves 300 grand by giving up the belt. It's that he's got a tangible excuse for not fighting Triple G. You know, if he um, won this fight against Canelo Alvarez, there would be outcry if he didn't fight Triple G. You know, everyone would be calling him out, calling him names, saying he's a duck, etc. What he's done now is saved himself 300 grand. But in my opinion, the real reason is... Uh, you know, because he, Triple G is obviously going to try and unify the division, go down the WBC route, and here, C Miguel Cotto can have this smoke screen of some sort of beef with WBC, when actually he's just trying to be a duck. You know, in my opinion, um, how the 300 grand, I know it's outrageous, and Miguel Cotto's like making loads of fuss about it, but he must have known this was coming. It's fairly standard that sanctioning bodies charge 2 or 3% of your purse. Um... I mean, this is this is not news to anyone. So I don't know why Miguel Cotto has left it to this stage. It seems awfully convenient to me, following on from Golovkin's performance against Lemieux. Anyway, all of this could be absolutely irrelevant because I'm predicting Canelo to win the fight. I think Canelo is going to be the bigger man. Don't be surprised. I know Canelo is fighting um, is perceived to be the light middleweight, and Miguel Cotto is perceived to be the middleweight. But looking at these two guys together, I see Canelo as the bigger guy. I also see Canelo as the younger, fresher guy. Let's be honest, Miguel Cotto has done nothing at 160 pounds. Nothing at all. I mean, he beat the ghost of Daniel Gill at a catchweight. Um, he beat the ghost of Sergio Martinez. And he smashed up Edwin Rodriguez. You know, he's not done anything there that's really impressed me as a top flight 160 pounder. You know, that Sergio Martinez that night, I mean, Sergio Martinez at his best is a good fighter. Daniel Gill at his best is a good fighter. Don't get me wrong, but the guys who got in the ring against Koto on those nights, old guys, weight drain guys, injured guys, etc. I mean, how many of the domestic British middleweights would you pick against those guys? You know, really, they were the walking dead, let's be honest. The last relevant bit of form that Miguel Cotto has in a genuine fight against a genuine opponent without an excuse is when he got schooled by Austin Trout. You know, the same Austin Trout who Canelo actually beat. You know, Canelo, um, for me, I know people talk about his stamina problems and, you know, people have concerns over him, but he's a very big puncher and he's a very, very tough guy. You know, he's got an excellent chin. Uh, he's going to come forward, he's going to bring it. And I just think he's going to have too much for Miguel Cotto. I really do. People talk about Cotto having the boxing advantage here. And uh, yeah, I mean, potentially he does have a boxing advantage. But when he went up against Austin Trout, as I keep coming back to, he got schooled by a superior boxer, whereas Canelo didn't. Yeah, you know, I watched the video that Dwyer did the other day, and he was talking about uh, Miguel Cotto's lateral movement. And it probably is true that, you know, at his best, Miguel Cotto is a better technician and a better chess player. Than, uh, than Canelo Alvarez. But for me, Miguel Cotto is going to be in the autumn of his career here, fighting a bigger man, a younger man, and a guy who hits harder than him at this stage of his career. I just see this as a easy work for Canelo. I really do. And I don't think we should analyse it um, further than that, really. 
Let me know your thoughts. I'm interested to hear your thoughts on uh, WBG stripping Koto. Do you agree with what I've said on it? I know that was fairly strong. Uh, you know, I've never been a Koto fan, and the way he's acted recently has made it even more dislikable. Uh, or, you know, do you, do you give Koto a chance in this fight? Let me know your thoughts. As always, many thanks for watching.